Welcome back again with King Family to another F1 Clash video and today we're going to be doing our Miami GP Boost Guide video. Yes guys, we have changed the date of the Boost Guide video to Tuesday based off of your guys' requests. Alright, so uh, we're going to be doing it on Tuesday nowadays so you guys can get uh, the Boost Guide for the qualifying round and the opening round all combined together. Alright, so uh, we're going to be looking at the best boost picks for you guys to use for your upcoming Miami Grand Prix. So we just want to jump on over to the boost menu here. Uh, and then you want to jump on in to see the Miami Grand Prix and see the first track up. It's going to be United States and it's going to be 100% wet on United States. Now, when it's 100% wet on the United States, we see corners and speed playing a better attribute. So that gives uh, a boost like the uh, let me just press this a boost like the hex that gives you speed uh, and wetness ability is a boost for uh, that wet race there at the US a boost like the tuned is another boost uh, for you to use the exception good boost to use there the samba good boost to use there at the US uh, the prince boost good boost to use there so any boost that gives you speed uh, and wetness ability and then another boost that gives you corner and wetness ability or you could go for two corners boost or you could go for two speed boost uh, so it would be up to you uh, to decide which one you want to go for all right and we see Bahrain coming up next and we see Bahrain uh, is requiring corners and grip uh, for Bahrain especially corners and grip with some form of tire management is really good at Bahrain uh, so grip like the rooster here that gives you some form of grip uh, with that tire management is really good for Bahrain uh, and the Taros here that gives you that corners with that tire management who is really really good for Bahrain all right so the next track up is gonna be Spain and we see Spain coming in with a 28% chance of wet here and we're going to alter the boost for our previous boost guide where we say Spain is corners and fuel. We're now going to be moving Spain to corners and speed uh, on, on Spain if it's dry. And guess what? It's corners and speed again if it's wet for Spain. So Spain and the United Kingdom is the two tracks where we see they're using corner and speed in both aspects of the track, dry or wet. So definitely corner and speed for those tracks. All right, so any boost that gives you speed uh, and give you corners, then that's a great boost. So a boost like the uh, Street Shark here that gives you speed uh, is a pretty good boost. You, you kind of, if you want, you could throw a little bit of tire management in there with like the Lumberjack that gives you that speed uh, if you want. But Spain is not a track that really requires that extra tires. So make sure you go for those boosts that gives you that high speed and high, uh, high cornering uh, so you can get the most out of your Spain race. All right, let's see the next track that is gonna be coming up for the qualifying round. is gonna be United States again with a 15% chance of raining this one. Now, because the first one was wet, I strongly believe that this one is gonna be dry and we see where speed and grip is what plays a main factor at dry United States. So you wanna go for speed and grip uh, for that last race in your qualifying and that should get you through qualifying. Now, if you don't qualify on day one, there is three days of qualifying, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So if you don't get it on Wednesday, always go again on Thursday. If you don't get it on Thursday, you could always go again on Friday. If you don't get it on Friday, drop down a division, you're too high and you don't have the levels to perform, all right? So that's a tip for you guys there. All right, so now we're gonna be looking at the opening round tracks. Uh, that and see what boosts are going to be needed for the opening and the final round uh, coming up uh, in the event. So we see United States coming in now uh, for the first race, 100% dry, uh, and we see it at a 0% wetness. So it's going to be crazy, crazy dry there at the United States. It's going to be so hot. Oh, man, it's going to be so hot. And we see where speed and grip is the feature, as we just said, in that last race, which is the last qualified race, speed and grip. Uh, is it for the United States? So you want to go with speed and grip. All right, the next track up is going to be Imola. And Imola uh, coming up next is going to be 67% chance of rain for Imola. And if it's dry, it's 67% chance. So it's not necessarily going to be a wet race. However, if you get it dry, uh, it's corners and grip. If you get it dry. And if you get it wet, it is speed and grip. 
all right so speed always seems to come in when it comes to wetness when it comes to those wet boosts speed always be a factor that's why hex is the best wet boost in the game hands down all right <laughs> nothing better than the hex uh in the game all right uh we see uh race three is gonna be netherlands uh and we see dry netherlands here and we see the feature for netherlands when it's dry is gonna be corners and grip so you want to go for those boosts with those corners and grip uh, like the downforce, the Nazar right there, that gives you good grip with tire management. The frost, you could use that in a wet race, but if if you if you do if you do like have only like the frost with some current grip in there as a boost, uh, throw it on. Uh, the wetness ability will will be waste, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, but yeah, if that's the only thing you got, use it. You know what I mean? As long as it's giving you that grip and that corners uh, that is required for uh, the Netherlands sandboard. All right. Next track coming up after Zandvoort uh, is going to be Canada, the dreaded Canada, man, the dreaded Canada. Now, I'm going to give you guys a pro tip for Canada here. Uh, so I have found that the overcut on Canada seems extremely strong. So I'm going to recommend here uh, the attributes of Con Canada is corners and grip. But what I'm going to recommend to you guys, when selecting your corners and grip boost for Canada, I am going to recommend you guys go for tire management with those corners and grip. All right. So a boost like the Nazar here that gives you grip uh, will give you some tire management, which is for tire management, which is really, really good. So the Nazar right there would be a good boost uh, for your Canada race right there because it gives you that tires. All right. The Taurus will be a great boost for that Canada race because it gives you that extra tires. The Eagle as well would be another great boost. I think the Eagle, uh, the Eagle is definitely would be stronger than the Nazar. So I would definitely say go with the Eagle uh, and the Taurus at Canada. Then you want to go long. All right. At Canada, go long, bro. Go long. If it's if it's five laps maximum, go five laps and come back for, for three. Uh, if you can get four laps in there and then you can come back and get another four laps on boost, then you go for it. But the longer you can go at Canada, the better it is going to be for you because the overcut seems to be stronger on Canada than the undercut. Overcut seems to be stronger uh, than the undercut throughout the entire season. All right, anyways, the next track up is going to be Belgium. And for Belgium, we see it's going to be 100% wet. And when Belgium gets 100% wet, we see where corners and speed are the main feature. So hex and tune, really, really good for Belgium there. All right, we see the United Kingdom coming up next. And we already mentioned this track uh, in the uh, qualifying round where Spain and the United Kingdom seems to be... Uh, a speed and uh, corners track, whether it's dry or it's wet. So speed and corners is the main aspect of the United Kingdom. Now, the United Kingdom can be a tricky one, uh, but it's good to go long out as well on the United Kingdom. So if you could uh, throw on some tire management with those speed and wet boosts with that speed, if you want, can throw on some, some tire management with that speed and grip boost, uh, so you go one 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 driver with like the lumberjack that gives you some form of tire management with that speed, uh, and one driver with uh, the downforce that gives you tire management and speed. Uh, that that gives you tire management and corners. Uh, those boosts uh, will be really good uh, for you at the United Kingdom. Now, if you could go long at the United Kingdom for like four laps and then come back and do three laps of boost, then you're all set to go at the United Kingdom. All right, next track up is one of the favorites, uh, Brazil. I think this is going to be the track where you're going to possibly get the fastest lap. If you get a dry uh, Imola, then you probably outrun uh, the Brazil track. Uh, but Brazil uh, seems where you're going to get that fastest lap. The conditions is just right for Brazil to give you that fastest lap. It's dry. Uh, and it's going to be requiring speed and corners uh, for Brazil. So it, whenever you hit that long straight down the back, right down the main front, oh my God, all the way down there with that speed boost, your drivers will overtake as much as they can because of that speed boost. So definitely go for a speed and a uh, corner boost for Brazil. All right. And the last track up is going to be United Kingdom. And we already said speed and grip. Uh, was that going to be for the United States? Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the United States. Speed and grip. All right. So go for the boost. A boost that gives you speed and the boost that gives you grip. 
all right so let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think of the new time of this video do you prefer it this way where I give you the qualifying round and the opening and the final round or you prefer it the old way that we were doing it where we just give you the opening and the final round all right so let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this one use code word boost down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys for all your support come on man I can't believe you guys didn't smash the like button you've been here for so long and you haven't smashed the like button Smash that like button, man. Let's get some likes on this video. And that's basically going to be it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk good, guys. Bye. Shout out to Marco Pedrana, Vid Mantis, Alfredo Jr., and Touch My Dilly.